everyone, thank you so much for stopping by today. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use any Google font you want from google.com slash font on a blog post just like this. The problem I see all too often is someone writes a really helpful post and then leaves it looking a little bit plain and a little bit boring like this. And you're losing readers because this text just won't grip someone from the get-go. So with Google Fonts, we can change that and I'm gonna refresh the page to show you a little before and after I'm just gonna refresh it and show you what it'll look like when we're done so you're gonna learn how to insert a new font like this from Google Fonts and as a bonus I'll show you how to change the font size and the font color as well the good news is we're gonna do this without any plugins that can really slow down your blog over time and we're gonna do it exactly how Google wants without further ado let's get started so make sure you're at google.com backslash fonts where everything is free to use and amazing. And then in this left search bar, type in a font style that would be perfect for your writing. I'm gonna go with Cedarville Cursive and now we wanna just click on this arrow that means quick use. Just click that and then make sure this is checked and scroll down and then we wanna copy this portion right here. So I'll just click to the right of the text and do a copy and then hop back over to my dashboard where I'm already in appearance, editor, and then the header.php section. That's where we want to be. That's where we're going to insert this code from Google. Now I know this is a little bit of coding, but don't worry. I think you'll handle it just fine. Um, so just do exactly what I'm doing here. So you want to take this piece of code and paste it in right above this portion of the code. Uh, if you can't find this little open alligator backslash head close alligator bracket, then just do a control F and type that in and you'll see exactly where it exists. So I already have a couple fonts in here and I'm just gonna paste that in and then delete these two. And then why don't we go ahead and get one more font so I'm gonna search for English great and I'm gonna grab I am fell English same process quick use and then copy and pop it in now we can update file what that just did was linked the Google code for the fonts to our blog so now they're in our dashboard and they're ready to use in a blog post so go ahead and open up your posts and then here's the post where I want to put that Google font and you can see it's already set up right here so let's erase this and do it again alright again just a little bit of coding nothing too scary I want you to write out this little portion right here which just means paragraph style equals blank and then after the, the text where you want to include it, put a close P like that, which means close paragraph. Once you've written that out, go back to the Google Fonts page and then copy this portion where it says for integrate the fonts into your CSS. So just copy that and then paste all of this just as it is right in between those two quotation marks. So control paste and then we're gonna update the post now that that's in there. Make sure it looks exactly like it did on Google. Make sure this little semicolon is in there and then we'll update the post. So I think this should be working. Let's take a look. And we can see our awesome English Google font is now showing up in our blog post. So that's looking pretty good. It's not a perfect font but it is definitely more gripping than it was before but I want people to be able to see it better so I'm gonna change the font size and the color now to do that just write in exactly what I write here I'm gonna use a little CSS with the selector for font size and then make it 24 picks write a semicolon and then use another CSS selector for color and then just write green not Greek, green and I'll update again and I'll refresh this page to see the changes we made and there you go 
now the font is bigger, it's green, and it's in the font style that we got from Google. If we wanted to use the other Google font that we got from Google Fonts, um, we would just go do the same process. Just go back to where cursive was. And remember the portion we need to put into our post is this part right here. All right, so same as before, just click over here and then let's copy this font. And we're just gonna paste that code in right after this first font. So just paste it in right there. And now because it comes after, because cursive comes after English, cursive will take priority. Um, that's just the way CSS works. So if we update the post, we can see that our new changes should be reflected. So let's hit refresh. And there we go. Now we have a cool handwriting cursive sort of font style from Google Fonts. So play around with your Google Fonts and have fun. And if you ever wanted to revert back to normal, you could just delete everything we just wrote and all the changes will go away. Thanks so much for watching and please remember to post a comment and hit like if you learned something in this tutorial. Thanks again and I'll talk to you soon.